Hmm. Fun. Okay. Let's go in through this nonsense. Welcome to the Lost Ruins. There are two of these dungeons in Chapter 6, and... They're not so bad. We've got more snakes. We've got these purple ones who are really fast. And we, we are introduced to a new item, the uh, Golden Anklets. They let you jump two space wide gaps. What fun. Hearts if you need them. And more mummies. Since the shooting star destroys like the regular mummies, they had to throw these uh, fuchsia mummies in here. Is that even fuchsia? I, 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 I have no idea. I mean, that opens up a secret passageway. Oh, this room. This is just a barrel of fun. It's a jumping puzzle slash kill room. So just to jump around like a crazy person. Gonna go over here and get this Octorok because he's sort of out of the way. God, you could just groove to that dungeon music, couldn't you? I am not going to make up lyrics for the dungeon music and ruin it. I've ruined too many things over the years, and this is a professional LP, it's not so good. Well, it's professional even though I say shit like, I'm going to get tasty things. Ha 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 ha. Oh god, my commentary's gone stilted. This is what one sitting a game does to you folks. But still. Let's remain informative, shall we? Okay. We just got a chain of mummies coming at us. These stupid fusion bastards. Hearts if you need them. Now you'd think, hey, that's all there is to it? Well, no. Leap of faith! some medicine, which you'll probably, probably want. Hey look, it's a mollusk or a cephalopod or an amistar, whatever the hell you call him. And say hello to his big brother. This guy is a lot like Octo the Huge, except you've got no snowman to all do a fiddle around with him, so you just sort of gotta wait for him to come down and then smash him. Come down! Come on! Yeah, just like that, really. Try to keep the shooting star. Please do. I know it's difficult, but... It'll really, really kill this guy. Especially good. There, you see? Look at that. Look how killed that thing was. Well, you think, hey, that's the end of that dungeon. Okay, what do you got next for us, crazy lost ruins? Actually, they ain't done yet. More baby whatever those things are. I, I'm not quite sure. I'm not, I'm not a prehistoric expert. I mean, you got a secret passage here, but you don't want to take that one. That one's lame. I'm going to take this bottom first open the actual way out. Then you go up to the top and you take the one with the golden armlets, anklets, whatever the hell you want to call them. Jump over here to uh, light up the place. And grab some baseballs. Which are pretty much just baseballs. They fly straight. Oh, and this item is awesome. Spike shoes. You go apeshit and you just kill everything on the screen. Yeah, they said it doesn't kind of work there because it's like slow and uh, those things take a lot with the uh, spike shoes. Take a lot of punishment. Just grab those golden anklets. Anklets, armlets, I'm not even sure. Oh, that was, that, was, that was silly. Okay. Pretty sure there's health you can grab over here, though. Well, you know, I was correct in my Alright, let's deal with these things. 
the old-fashioned way. Oh, oh, hey. Nah, I don't need the star. This is pretty much what I mean by the star is being, like, useless by now, because you've got, like, 15 hearts. Or however many there are. Now let's use our spike shoes. Ah, screw it. You're not gonna keep them after this dungeon anyway, so you might as well use all your spike shoes. For mass convenience. Switch to the baseballs because it's time for the real boss of the first section of the ruins. A molehead! head! I didn't know we crossed into Gradius, but okay. My head just floats around and he shoots what appears to be some sort of mummy gauze. When he opens his mouth up like that, he's really vulnerable. Oh, hey, we're actually getting killed! Huh. Let's stand back a little from old mummy boy. Or Moai boy, or whatever. Didn't really need the medicine, but it was good for safety. Look at him freak out. Okay, now we're beat. Now we have beaten the first dungeon of the Lost Ruins. Woo! We did it. Ha <laughs> ha! I keep telling you people to refrain, but you don't listen to me. You never listen to me. Alright. This is an interesting little thing you can do here. Alright, you just want to go up here. It's not really that interesting because of what the secret is, but rather what you can do. There is a, a big heart up here in that little stairwell. Now, if you go into the uh, dungeon that's up there-ish, and walk back out, or get a game over or something like that, this big heart will respawn, and you can infinitely grab it and fill your life level up to full. Which, honestly, would probably help for the uh, final uh, dungeon stuff that we're going to be doing in just a little bit. But I'm not going to do it. It takes too much time, and uh, it'll all become irrelevant anyway. You'll, you'll see exactly what I mean as we uh, go along. But that trick is there if you've got patience, and the uh, thing in Chapter 7 is really kicking your ass, which it probably will, but... We're getting ahead of ourselves for now. Let's go over here. And... Oh my god, a giant rock! Metal melted by a great heat. Is, is it a cosmic bowling ball? Is, is this where the... Is this where Captain Bell got his goddamn bowling balls for his trap-filled dungeon? Whatever, let's just go to the second area.